In this video, I'm going to show you how easy it is to never run out of YouTube video ideas. I'm going to literally give you my secret video idea checklist, which lists nine ways that I personally generate endless video topics and video ideas for my own YouTube channels. YouTube search. So obviously before you get started, you're going to know what your niche is and the videos that you're trying to create on topics that are related to that niche. So I'm hoping you're going to have a list of keywords that you already resort to for your tags for videos or coming up with your own video ideas. If you don't have this already, go ahead and make a list of about 10 to 30 tags that are commonly used within your own videos or videos within your niche that are already on YouTube. So go ahead and go to the YouTube search. Type in one of your keywords. So let's go ahead and type in calorie. What YouTube is going to do is it's going to auto finish these sentences or keywords that you put in. So as you can see, if I type in calorie counting, it's going to give us these video topics. And these video topics are sorted by how much they're being searched. So the higher it is, the more likely it's being searched. So the search volume is going to be higher. So here are a list of video ideas if I was going to make a video about calorie counting. I can make one about the best count calorie counting app, calorie counting mukbang, calorie counting weight loss, and so on. Another way to go ahead and maximize your results for YouTube search is by adding an adjective to the front. So if I go best, it's going to go ahead and give us a list of best calorie counting something. Best calorie counting app, app free, watch, best calorie counting diet, best calorie counting Instagram accounts, and so on. I think you get the idea. Another way to generate video ideas from the YouTube search is by typing in a keyword and pressing enter. This is going to give a list of videos that are ranking for calorie counting. And there's a ton of video ideas just here. For example, I counted every calorie for 30 days, how to count calories and macros, day in the life of counting calories, what I ate today, calorie counting, how to track your calories. That's five different video ideas right there from just pressing enter and looking at related videos. VidIQ Keyword Inspector. VidIQ is a free tool that I use to help me run my YouTube channels. There are paid options, but you don't necessarily need to pay for it. You will need to download the VidIQ plugin. There will be a link in the description down below. I highly recommend it, even if you're just going to use the free version. Once you've installed VidIQ, head on up to the top section in the settings bar, click the three lines and head down to Keyword Inspector. It's gonna go ahead and bring up the Keyword Inspector for you. And we're gonna go ahead and type in the same keyword we just used before and press enter. As you can see, vidIQ is going to go ahead and give us a ton of related keywords and video topics just here. But what's great about vidIQ is it's going to give us a related score, which measures how closely this keyword is related to the keyword we've searched for. It's going to also provide us with the search volume, which is going to tell us how often this is being searched for. It's also going to show us the competition ranking, which means how competitive you need to be or how competitive that field already is and the videos that are already there. The perfect keyword is going to consist of a high search volume and a very low competition rank. But vidIQ can do this for us. If we go ahead and click the overall score twice to make sure that the highest score is at the top, it's going to give us the keywords that have a huge search volume, but have a very low competition. So have a scroll down and you're going to start seeing things like MyFitnessPal. So people are searching for it, but it's a very, very low competition. So if you can come up with some keywords that are related to calorie counting and my fitness pal you're going to come up with some great topics and video top have a play around try and get the best score you possibly can but what's what's great about this is every time you search for something new video ideas are going to pop up so start writing these down another tip is every time you go ahead and search for a search term on the right hand side here it's going to show you trending videos within that niche that you might be able to copy answer the public now i would highly recommend anyone that makes educational tutorial how-to guides or similar topics like that to actually use answer the public because what it's going to do is it's going to generate a ton of questions that your audience may ask revolving around the keyword that you 
put in. We're gonna go ahead and use the same keyword. Once the search is completed, we've got 71 questions in relation to calorie counting. If we scroll down, you're gonna see a bit of a wheel here. Our keyword is going to be in the middle and then it's gonna branch off into the different question starters. So for example, does calorie counting work? Does calorie counting work? Can calorie counting cause diarrhea? <laughs> Which calorie counting apps are free? Not only does it provide questions, it's going to provide prepositions, comparisons, alphabetic and related. VidIQ daily ideas. Now this one is pretty freaking cool. Head over to VidIQ, the three lines again, and click daily ideas. So every single day, vidIQ is going to give you 10 video topic ideas that you can either save or dismiss. Don't be alarmed. If you do dismiss these, they actually still save in a dismissed section. So obviously I make videos about YouTube. So this is going to be related to my own personal YouTube channel. The view prediction for this one is very high. It doesn't really relate to my own personal channel. So I'm going to dismiss this. Another one, 10 video editing app, hidden gems. Also gonna dismiss. How to grow your YouTube channel in 2022, five tips. This is very related to my channel. I'm gonna click save, but before I do, I'm gonna click the link here that says show related videos, because this is going to give us a ton more video ideas that relate to this topic. As you can see, it's given us a ton of videos that we might be able to recreate on our own channel. So what you can do is you can just go through these daily ideas. Once you do have a ton of saved ones, they will stay here and you can rank them on how much views vidIQ is going to predict for you. And this is where your dismissed videos go as well. Your past videos. Yes, you heard me correct. We're gonna take a look at your own old videos because every month I like to go through my own old videos and see if I can recreate them or make an updated version for them. All you need to do is head to your YouTube studio and then into your content. All you need to do is go ahead and click the date to reverse it. This is going to go ahead and put your oldest videos to newest so we can see some of the oldest ones. Now, all you need to do is just go through them and see if you could make a new updated version of this. Here's a good suggestion how to use playlists to get more views, five tips. This was created in the start of 2019. I could probably go ahead and make a new one, a more updated version. And it doesn't just have to be an updated version. When I first started this YouTube channel, I didn't use a HD webcam. I didn't have the best editing skills. So I should go back and just improve the video in any way I possibly can. You will honestly be surprised at how many videos you could recreate from the ones you've already done. Is popular videos. Now YouTube is massive and there's tons of creators and we can come across videos that might not be in our niche, but we can actually spin them to be within our own niche and make a video on a similar topic. Topic. But how do we go ahead and find popular videos? All you need to do is go to the explore page and click trending. Obviously, if you don't want to look at the trending videos, let's say you're in the gaming niche, you can click on gaming. Let's say you're in the sports niche or news niche, you can click within any of these categories. For myself, I'd probably benefit from looking in the learning tab, but let's have a look at the trending tab first. Obviously, I'm not going to be able to do anything with any sort of mu music video or any sort of trailer. So nothing really fits here for me in the trending tab. I'm going to go ahead and check out the learning tab. I'm already getting some ideas for my own channel here. I can definitely make a video on how to choose the right mentor when it comes to YouTubers. I definitely look up to a few YouTubers myself, which will be a good video idea. Here's another one, three ways to deal with stress. I can go ahead and make a YouTube video on how I manage my own stress when it comes to being a YouTube creator. And nine best things to buy in your 20s. I could retitle this to nine best things to buy within the first year of creating content. As you can see, it's just a change of perspective when looking at other videos to be inspired to make videos similar, but within your own niche. The TubeBuddy Keyword Explorer. The TubeBuddy Keyword Explorer is very similar to the vidIQ one, but it's honestly up to personal preference. So go ahead and install the TubeBuddy plugin via the link in the description down below and head on over to settings up here and down the side where it says extension tools, click Keyword Explorer. 
hit enter. All right, so there's a few things that we need to look at here. TrueBuddy is gonna give us an overall score of the keyword. So right now we're getting a good score of 43 out of 100. The search volume is excellent in the green here. The competition is fair. So that means a lot of people are making videos about this. The optimization strength, this is just showing us how well the top videos within this um, keyword are performing and they are performing excellently. Number of videos in search results is 7.05 million and monthly searches estimate is insufficient. Another great thing that it's going to show us is the interest over time. So we could do 30 days or 12 months. This is on YouTube. It's gonna show us some video topics that we might be able to make videos on and some common tags that are related to this search term. Another really awesome thing about key, the TubeBuddy Keyword Explorer is the results. It's going to show us the top results for this keyword specifically, and it's going to compare us to the top ranking search. So Will Tennyson is the top ranking search. I obviously have no ranking because I'm not a fitness channel. Own YouTube analytics, and this one's probably gonna surprise you. So go on and head into your YouTube studio. This is gonna open up our YouTube analytics for us. You're gonna have a look at my own analytics. So go on to analytics and then we're gonna head up into the advanced mode here. The first thing we're gonna take a look at is the search terms people are using to find your videos. This is what you need to double down on because people are searching these search terms and your videos are showing up and they're watching them. So let's go ahead and click on traffic source and then we're gonna click on YouTube search. This is gonna be for the last 28 days, but you can go ahead and change this to the last 90, last 365, or even last seven. Let's just keep it on last 28 for me. As you can see, it's gonna give me a list of keywords that my YouTube videos are being found by. And that's a ton of video topics right there. While we're in the advanced page, we're going to go ahead and take a look at suggested videos. These are the videos people are watching before being suggested to your videos. So these videos technically are being linked to your videos and are getting your videos views. So let's take a look at that. Again, go to traffic source and then go down to suggested video and click there. So these are my personal suggested videos. So you name it. So what you can do is you can actually get some video ideas from these videos that have just suggested people to your videos. That's a mouthful. VidIQ trending tool. And this is honestly one of the best features VidIQ have. As you know, I'm a big advocate for using other YouTube channels within your niche as inspiration to create content for your own channel. But I'm gonna show you a tool that is going to help you pick the right topics from these YouTube channels. For today's example, I'm gonna be comparing my own channel to vidIQ. There's obviously one way to find popular videos and that's by going to the videos tab and then sorting by most popular. It's gonna show us which videos are the most popular that have been created by vidIQ. But we're gonna take this a step closer Yes, you can make videos about these same topics, but let's go ahead and use this trending feature right here. Go ahead and click on trending. It's going to load and it's going to show us the most popular videos in relation to how many views per hour they're getting. So these are popular videos that are still getting views. Let's take a look at some of these. This one here is still getting 148 views per hour and it's six months old. This one here is getting 74 views per hour and it's a year old, over a year old. So this is a great way to come up with video topics from channels that are in a similar niche to yours. But the awesome thing is, is they're still generating views to this day. This is where I usually go ahead and tell you to watch another YouTube video of mine, but I wanna take this time to thank you for watching the entire video all the way through, leaving a like and hopefully hitting that subscribe button. I am a little bit sick at the moment. I do have the Rona, unfortunately. So I've been in isolation for about half a week now, but I'm just trying to get out some videos to you guys because it's what I love doing. Thank you again, guys, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.